Hi everyone, it's Joe, and I'm bringing you another card painting this week. You will have to excuse my hairdo this week, because uh, I kind of need to get it cut, and it looks a bit like Guile from Street Fire at the minute. But last week I did Dark Magician of Chaos, and if you want to see the video for that, then you can click on the picture of it, and it will link you straight to it. But this week we're doing Red Eyes Black Dragon. Now, I'm trying to like continue this theme of really old-school Yu-Gi-Oh cards at the minute, and I'm also going to start doing Magic cards again soon, because I know that Archangel Avacyn looks the nuts, and I really want to paint it, both sides of it. But going back to Red Eyes Black Dragon... It's really super simplistic, so I had to kind of zhuzh it up a little, and, you know, it's just black. Everything is black, except it's actually not. There's a very, very light hint of lilac within the black, so I mixed in using my uh, blacks, violets, and blues of my golden acrylic paints, and I mixed them all together, and I made a very, very light lilac sheen over the black. And it doesn't, you can't tell it too heavily, but it's definitely there. Um, if you wanting to watch more of this stuff, then I'm going to quickly put the subscribe button down at the bottom here, and hopefully you can kind of click on that and see what other things I've been doing. And with this particular card, I wanted to make it so that the old school vibe was still there, but it had a little bit more detail to it, because old Yu-Gi-Oh cards tend to be quite ugly, and they tend to have very strange artwork. Like, I remember seeing some that looked like a five-year-old had drawn them. It just, it looked crazy. They've upped their game a lot in those e in the years, but uh, with Burning Abyss being a massive deal, um, and Noble Knights, that kind of thing, all their artwork has really improved. But going back ten years, some of their artwork is absolutely grotesque. But with the artwork on this one, I've got, taken the lilacs and I've kind of gradiated out from the dragon itself and kind of just made it lighter and lighter and lighter as I went in towards it because it's easier to do that than to go from light to dark. Now with the dragon itself all you really have to do is paint the extension on the wings and it's not particularly difficult. I do actually paint over the level stars in this one because I sat there and I thought about it and painting like painting around the level stars is far more hassle than it's really worth. It doesn't change the legality of the card or anything because I mean you know, it's something that I often get, I get a lot of questions about whether these cards are legal for tournament play. They're not, generally speaking. I mean, you could probably get away with them in a local tournament, and if you ask the judge, and you know, you might say yes. Don't expect to be playing these in a YCS or anything. I mean, I used to judge YCSs years ago, and I wouldn't allow it if other people did it, so it would be very hypocritical of me to say, yeah, go and take my cards to your, new your nearest YCS and go nuts. Yeah, just, you shouldn't do it. But, you know, who knows, maybe one day I'll be popular enough that people will acknowledge my cards and say that they are tournament legal. Who knows? With When the card started to get finished, I really wanted to add a little something to this. So I thought I would fill the space, because on the left-hand side of the card, it's literally just black down the side. And I thought, that makes the card look very boring. So I wanted to add a little something, so I decided to put a lightning bolt into the card. All you had to do is, like, get the same lilac that you mixed in with the black, and just very, very slowly build it up, build it up, build it up until you have something jagged and it looks effective. If you do it all in one shot, it will just look crap. It will just look like you've drawn a white zigzag over it. It's not white. Lightning isn't white. It's the right colour to go with the storm that it's already in. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. And next week I shall probably be doing something old school again. I'm looking at Dark Paladin at the moment, so I'm probably going to go with that. Because that's a pretty cool card and it's nice and detailed, so it'll show my prowess a little better, like some of my previous cards, Denkaseka, Burning Abyss Monsters, that kind of thing. So, yeah, if you like the video, I'm going to put the subscribe button down at the bottom again, and you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are a YouTuber for Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything like that, get in contact, because it would be great to kind of, you know, maybe paint something for you, or something you could show off on your channel, or anything like that, because obviously we all want to get more like the numbers to go up, that kind of thing. So, you know, we can help each other and it'll be really cool. And soon I'm going to be doing a video on, like, FAQs to do with painted cards. So if you have any questions, like tournament legality, um, what paints to use, techniques, anything like that, I will be constructing an FAQ video, so feel free to leave a question in the comments below, and I'll get back on that, and your question will probably be featured within the video itself. Have fun, everybody, and I'll see you guys soon. See you later.